Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we want to show you how to place a GE top load washer in diagnostic mode. First thing you want to do is hold the start button down and turn the knob counterclockwise seven times and then let go of the start button. So now we're in diagnostic mode. So turn the knob now clockwise once. One means fault codes. So then you press the start button to see any fault codes, which fault code 9 is a spray valve dispenser check. So to see any additional fault codes, just keep on hitting the start button to display the next codes. And to turn to next test mode, just turn the knob once more clockwise, which now we'll just go to test six. This is the hot water valve test. So say if you put this in the test mode and you're not getting no hot water, more likely you have to replace the valve. Test mode seven is the cold water inlet valve test. It's all the same valve, so if one valve goes out, you have to place the whole assembly. I will leave this in the description below. So to get out of the test mode, hit the start button. Test mode eight, spray dispenser valve. Start to activate, and then you'll press start again to, to deactivate. Okay, test mode nine, this is a spray wrench valve. So you just press the start button. If the screen does turn black though, that means this valve is not on your washer. And just go to the next test. Test mode 10, this is a pressure sensor test. So basically how this works, it will start blinking and it'll make a solid, I guess, LED light until it reaches the seven inches of water and then it'll turn the machine off. So this is kind of basically what G recommends you to look at when you're doing this test. And then when it goes all the way to the end and it'll turn off the machine, you should have about seven inches of water in your tub. And this is basically a pressure switch test. Okay, test mode 11. Press the start button to activate. If you do not have a recirculation pump, that means it'll just be black like this. And let's turn to the next test. Test mode 12, drain pump, common problem. Press the start button. If you have water in the tub and it's not draining out and you press the start here, but you just hear a hum, it means you have a bad drain pump. Don't worry, I will leave in the description below a link to the part if you need it. So let's get all the water out of the tub and we'll move to the next test. And on these test cycles too, to activate you press start and to deactivate you press start again. So I'm going to turn it off. Then we'll go to test mode 13, which is lid switch. Hit the start button. Here's the lid switch. Also, I'll leave in the description below. And this is test mode, test mode 14. This is a spin cycle. So basically what goes on here, if say if you're in agitation mode, the shifter will have to shift to the spin mode and it will lock the lid there. So if your lid lock's not working, that light should not work, uh, light up. So now we're spinning. If another common problem too uh, on these GEs, if your clothes are wet or you still have water in the tub at the end of the cycle, that means your belt is slipping. I will leave a video at the end of this video that shows you how to replace the belt. Okay, I'll press the start button to deactivate the test mode. And test mode 15, this is the agitate mode. So this is where the shifter will have to take place. Here's a picture of it. Uh, if it does not shift back and forth, more likely you have a bad shifter. And I will leave a list of error codes in the description below. That way if you do get a different error code, you'll know exactly what it means. Okay, so now the tub has stopped spinning. Now the shifter will shift it into agitation mode. 
and then it should start agitating here in a moment. Another tip too, if your tub and your agitators kind of moving together, it means your shifter is basically not adjusting it to point A and B. It will move a little bit here, but if it's like moving a lot together, it means it's kind of not activating right. I hope this video was helpful and please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos and have a good day.